Doctors have read it. What's the biggest case of faking it you've ever seen? Story 1. 30-year-old woman came to the ED with such excruciating belly pain. Paralyzed. Oh god, it hurts when you press there. Must have oxycodone now. ED doc said if she can get out of the ED bed and do 20 jumping jacks, we can give her the oxy. She did 20 jumping jacks, then got kicked out of the ED. Doctor should get a side gig as a personal trainer. Story 2. My mom's an ER nurse and she said once some crazy lady came in and complained that she had the whooping cough. And whenever she coughed, she followed it up with a loud whoop. She's doing it wrong. That's a coughing whoop. Story 3. My cousin got glasses. Her 7-year-old little sister also wanted glasses because she thought it was so cool to wear them. So, she started telling her teacher she couldn't read what was on the chalkboard. And she'd squint at home and go incredibly close to the TV to watch things because she said she couldn't see things clearly. Her parents got worried and took her to the doctor. She read everything wrong on the vision test. Everyone seemed convinced that she needed glasses. But the doctor was a little concerned because the tests indicated she needed really thick glasses and usually that wasn't the case unless there was a family history of vision issues. Her parents both had 20-20 vision and her sister only had astigmatism. They all realized she was faking it. So, the doctor told her parents in front of her that she'd need some pretty intense eye surgery so she'd be able to see without glasses. They even wheeled in a machine to make it convincing to say they could do the surgery right then and there. She freaked out, confessing to faking it all and started to cry. She got grounded for a while. It's what she deserves. Story 4. I'm an ICU and ER nurse. We get a lot of malingering in the ER. One day, one of our frequent flyers came in and started faking a seizure in triage. Now obviously I know this lady and she's fake seized a million times before. But this time, it's in the lobby in front of about 30 people who have no way of knowing that it's fake. She's lolling around on the floor making a damn fool of herself and folks look horrified. I walked up to her and said calmly, Karen, what are you doing? To which this genius responds, I'm seizing. I told her to stop seizing, so she did. <laughs> Women. Story 5. Had a patient when I was an intern feigning blindness. She would constantly be playing on her smartphone, only furiously trying to hide it when someone from the care team came into her room. The best was when my attending one day strolled past her room and threw his hand up in a highly exaggerated hello wave. She started to throw her arm up but caught herself halfway through, then threw her hand back on her lap pretending to be staring off into nothing. Story 6. When I was a kid, I learned I could fake sick and get out of school. So one to two days a week, I would get a migraine and hold my head and complain and I would just get to go home. Eventually, my parents took me to a neurologist who said, maybe you just don't let him eat chocolate and sugar. I admitted to faking and was grounded for a long, long time. Story 7. Ophthalmology Technician People pretend to be blinded all the time. Go to check their eye pressure with a tona pin, a device you poke them directly into the eye with, and they go, what the f Story 8. When I was a kid, I would plan my sick days way ahead of time. I had an old thermos that I would just pour leftover milk, meat, whatever. Leave it in the windowsill in my bedroom, just letting it fester for a month. Of course, the thermos was closed, so no smells escaped. I set an alarm for the middle of the night, dumped the contents of my thermos onto the rug, and ran to tell my dad I was throwing up and so sick. However, this thermos monstrosity filled the entire condo up with horrible smells and both me and my dad ended up puking into the tub at the same time every time we tried to clean up the rug. He had to take the day off work too. Needless to say, I never pulled that again. Stop it. Get some help. Story 9. No doctor, but a funny story from work a couple years ago. Guy calls in sick for around 8 days, says on the phone he is really sick, comes back to work the next week hand as this dude hands a medical slip to the manager written in Spanish on the slip there is an official seal from some random Cuban clinic guy walks over to me with a grin on his face saying yeah I'm probably fired he was fired story 10 not a doctor but a nurse once had a patient having a seizure the other ER nurse and I knew she was faking it he said as much she suddenly stopped seizing, miraculously, looked straight at him and yelled, Shut up, fat boy. He and I laughed so hard. He, the other nurse, was referred to as such, fat boy, for a few months after that. At least she wasn't having a seizure. <laughs>